Hello and welcome to the VizRT Public Show. My name is Chris Black and today I'm going to show you how the Viz Virtual Studio can help you enhance any broadcast. First, let me tell you a little bit about the technology that we're using here today. Right beside us we have a control room where we have a director and a graphics operator running Viz Virtual Studio software and Viz Trio. Viz Trio is our playlist based system that allows us to trigger all the events that you'll see in the Virtual Studio today. Just in front of me, I have a camera with a tree of sensors above it and a number of cameras right above me here on the rafters. This is a motion analysis optical tra tracking system. As the camera moves around the set, these cameras are picking up the position of the camera based upon those sensors. And all this data is being sent back over to Viz Virtual Studio and placing me inside of this immersive environment. We're also using a Shotoku mechanical tracking system to send us X and Y and zoom information from the lens. All this is also going to Viz Virtual Studio, allowing the camera operator to zoom into me and have that happen within the Virtual Studio. So Viz Virtual Studio is a template-based system. That means your journalists have complete control over all of the content within the studio. They can edit graphics, add text, images, video, all from within their newsroom system, and make that part of a playlist in the Viz Trio to be played back live on the air. Let's bring in some ele elements as part of our studio. So we have an, a video clip here coming from Viz Media Engine. We also have an image, some text. We can also bring in 3D objects as part of our set, such as a uh, virtual car that we'll bring in. So this is actually an immersive, highly detailed 3D object that we've imported in. It's the uh, Ferrari's 2013 Formula One car. And as it rotates around, you can see it is indeed immersed into the studio in front of me. And it's all being rendered in real time from the Viz engine. It's also part of the template. So the generalists have the ability to control that object and change it to be any other object. Let's take a look at some other studio options that we have. Let's uh, change the story for a moment over to Egypt. There we are, so we have some Egyptian elements in here. We've changed the text. We can also bring in a virtual news desk for me to stand behind. There we are. And some immersive elements to help us tell our story, such as this 3D object I have. It's a uh, 3D sphinx that we have that's actually using some HDR images to give it this nice reflective look, and some state-of-the-art shaders that are being rendered in real time. Now, just in front of me, I have a single physical camera that is controlling the show. A lot of our customers with Viz Virtual Studio have two or three cameras in their studio. But Viz Virtual Studio also has a number of virtual cameras that you can use to create an entirely new environment that your producers and your journalists can be placed in and tell a story in a completely different way. So we're going to place me inside of this new virtual environment, a little model that we made of King Tut's tomb. And using the virtual camera, we're able to fly in and actually change the angle and give a new creative way of showing a large amount of space in a small studio. So we can fly around and really give a highly detailed look of a model that we've created that places the presenter inside of it and allows you to tell a story in a way that's never been able to be done before. So this virtual studio is used all over the world by a lot of broadcasters. And one of the things that a lot of our broadcasters like to do with this system is show sports because it gives them a lot of creative control to be able to show different sports elements such as analyzing a play or talking about the matchup of the day. Let's bring in some sports elements within our studio. There we are. We have a, uh, a clip of a football match. We have a uh, stadium over here. We can also bring in some immersive objects into our studio. There we are. This is our matchup of the day. We have uh, the Arsenal badge and also the Manchester City badge. And again, these are immersive objects brought into our system. Now, what's interesting about this is most immersive objects are only in front of the presenter. But with Viz Virtual Studio, we can actually do a 360 degree walk around a virtual object, making it feel like it's almost a, a real object within the studio. So I can go inside in front of the uh, Arsenal badge. I can also go and walk behind the Arsenal badge and it all becomes in a very immersive object, much more so than just something that's standing in front of me. So I can go back in front of it again here. There we are. And actually, there's one more thing we can do with these immersive objects. Let's take away these elements for a moment. There we are. Seth, why don't you throw that over to me? Well, got to make sure I don't drop it. So I have now a coffee cup in my hand with a, a bunch of funny little sensors taped to it. 
Uh, what this is doing is actually allowing these cameras to track the location of this object in my hand, and then we are placing a 3D object with Viz Virtual Studio into place of the object. So now I have this arsenal shield here. Maybe I can have Fadi pull out a sword and I can block him from it. And it's actually a very nice 3D object that I have complete control of. It's very, very reactive. It's also high resolution, so I can go up here and, yeah, you can see that's a very high resolution object within our studio. So it's a very interesting way of being able to give your journalists new tools that they can interact with inside of the studio. Now, of course, everything that we're doing right now is within this green screen here. And you'd be surprised, a lot of our customers who are using Viz Virtual Studio actually have pretty small virtual sets, maybe only a couple of meters wide, but you'd never be able to tell by watching them on TV. That's because they're able to expand the virtual set beyond the green screen and be able to create a new virtual environment that makes their studio look a lot larger there it, where, than it is. So as Seth moves the camera around, you gentlemen are now part of our virtual studio. And we have added in this 3D model of a uh, soccer pitch. And so Seth can move around. And you can really see that it gives the effect that the studio has extended way beyond that green screen. So this is the exterior of the stadium. Why don't we come back into the studio and take a look at the interior of the stadium using our virtual window. So let's open this up. There we are. So this is actually a model of the interior of the stadium that we've added in here. And as we move the camera around, you can see that it does actually have a lot of depth to it. So actually, let me just take a little jump in there real quick. There we are. So now I'm inside of a brand new immersive environment outside of the virtual studio. I have a lot of room here. I can actually bring in some uh, players to join me out here. So there's one. There's another one. I think uh, if I were to extend this back a few meters, I would have the ability to take a long walk out into the pitch because it's actually a very large model. And if I have a football, thank you, we could have a little match out here. Hey, uh, oops, there you go. Hey, Hannes, want to join me out here for the, the football match? All right, yeah, here, here you go. Oh, yeah, sure. There you are. Thank you. So with the multiple immersive environments, we're able to have the presenters in the main studio and also have the journalists in this new immersive environment here, and they can interact with each other. And it's kind of a fun way of telling different kinds of stories. Let me uh, jump back out into the main studio for a moment. So I'm just got to duck down so I don't hit my head on the top of that monitor. There we are. So just a moment ago, I was on top of on a uh, virtual football pitch. But actually, I want to go onto a real football pitch. So we're going to use Viz Libro, Viz RT's sports analysis tool, to place me inside of an actual football pitch using the virtual presenter function. So now, here I am in the football pitch. I can take a look at what's going on. I can take a look at the plays that are happening on the field and really use this as a new storytelling tool that the presenter can actually interact with what's happening on the field. We can also highlight the players, look at plays, look at formations, and then using a virtual camera, fly around and take a look at the play from a different perspective. Now, we're also able to uh, take individual players, move them around, and see what would happen if they had been in different p positions on the pitch, or swing around and isolate a single player and see what would happen if they move forward while the rest of the players are still frozen on the field. Now, here I am back again in the middle of the actuals, fly back around. Let's take a look. We can see that the defenders are really doing a, a really terrible job here. So this is probably going to open it up for a goal. Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, he's got plenty of room right over here to make it right into the back of the net. Let's take a look. Oh, yes, very nice. So this virtual studio really gives you creative control over the entire system. It allows you to uh, have a lot of flexibility with the things that you show in your studio, and it's still a template-based system. So your presenters and your journalists in the newsroom have complete control over all of the content. Let's do one more thing here. Let's actually take away this news set for a moment and take a look at something else. So here we are in a completely blank, immersive environment. So we can build anything we want here to change it up. Let's do something like uh, the Grand Canyon. You gotta watch out for those flying rocks. So this was a 3D model that was built in Maya. We've added some texture, some lighting, and then imported it into the Viz engine for the Viz Virtual Studio. We've added some uh, environmental effects, such as like some sunshine, some clouds, and then added in the weather patterns as elements that can be changed by the director. So he can add in some clouds, 
You can add in some lightning and get us raining. And so we've been able to change the entire environment to something completely different. We've gone from the new studio, to King Tut's tomb, the football pitch, and now the Grand Canyon, all within the single show using the Viz Virtual Studio. So if you want to learn more about how this system works, we'd be happy to answer any questions you have right after the show. Thank you, everybody, and enjoy the rest of IBC.